my channel. So I brought you this very glittery, smoky look. I know prom season's around the corner, graduation's around the corner, and hell, even a girl's night out is around the corner. So I decided to sit down and refilm this look. I had filmed it before, but the footage was not working. But I kind of like it the second time around because I actually know what I was doing. Last time I was just winging it and coming up with something. I really wanted to use the Pigment Utopia. I have had this for a while, and I realized I've never really played with it besides one time, one time only. And at the time I didn't have glitter glue, so it was a hot mess. This time, ready, set, go, right? I know for my first prom I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I looked very plain Jane. The second prom, senior year, I kind of wanted smoky and glittery, and I was a hot mess that day too. But uh, I'm 25 now, so this I'm gonna use for a girls' night out. But I'm, like I said, it's for prom, it's for a graduation, it's for a girls' night out, it's for a wedding, it could be for anything. I really like that it's versatile and it's very neutral. You can mix up the lips. I personally like nude lips with smoky eyes, but that's just me. So if you guys wanna see how I got this glittery, smoky eye, then just keep watching. All right, so same old, same old trick. I'm gonna be using concealer to prime my eyelids. I think I'm using the Lancome Photogenic concealer that I always use. And I'm gonna be using the color Free Spirit from the Tartlet palette to set that concealer. All of these shadows are gonna be from this palette. It is one of my favorite matte palettes of all time. And for prom or a girl's line, I, I like matte shades in the crease versus super shimmery all over the place. So now I'm going to be taking Wanderer from that palette as well and using that as a transition shade. This is more of a cool toned brown and I'm just going to buff it into the crease. be dipping into power player which is a cool tone deeper brown and I'm gonna put that in the crease as well just a bit lower than the transition shade it's just gonna create depth in my eye sockets because I don't as you know have a very high crease so yeah I'm just gonna be blending that and packing it on and blending it once again until I get the intensity that I want and then after that I'm gonna be taking the shade fashionista which is a black it's more of a blue toned black um, I'm still trying to find a really nice black eyeshadow. I know Makeup Geek, I think, has a really nice one. But until then, I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing and just packing it, but with a more denser brush. This brush is from the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to be outlining my crease a little bit more and creating, once again, more depth. Now for the very important part, I'm taking this e.l.f. glitter primer. Make sure you have any type of glitter primer. There's one from Too Faced, I know there's one from NYX, and you're just gonna pat that on the lid. This is gonna what? This is gonna what? This is what is going to keep the glitter on your lid. Now I'm taking the Makeup Geek pigment in Utopia. You wanna pat it on versus sweeping it because you want it to stay in one spot. It does transfer a little but I realized you have to put a little bit of glitter glue on the top of the pigment after you're done because it does um, transfer. But you have to be careful as well because then it'll become very chunky. So you have to go in with a light hand at first and then just build it up as you go. Now I'm just taking the black again and defining the crease because the glitter got on top of it and whatnot. Now I'm going to be taking the Inglot number 77 black gel liner. I did this off camera because I have to be really close to the mirror. So all I'm doing now is taking that same shade that we started in the beginning with and highlighting the brow bone. Now some mascara. It's a tele telescopic mascara. Now I'm going to be taking these 121 Elore lashes. Holy crap, I did this too fast. And then I'm going to be taking some makeup remover and taking off the excess fallout from the pigment. 
Next, I'm just going to prime my face with my Too Faced Poreless Primer, putting that all over the face. And as you can see, I have kind of bruising underneath my eyes, so I'm just going to be taking some Salmon Concealer to cover that up. I busted an eye blood vessel underneath my eyes, so... Oh no! TV! Cool. And I'm just going to be putting that underneath my eyes. I have really nasty bags under my eyes. My health isn't the best, so my face is kind of getting that. You can see my rosacea is a little bit worse. Um, I'm getting very tired. I just... I'm anemic, so I have to get my iron up there, so that's what I'm working on, just so my face can be nice and, I don't know, healthy again. But now I'm just taking this color corrector from NYX. It's the green, just to take away the redness. Um, I've tried them before. I didn't really like it, but I heard that the NYX one is really good. I mean, so I decided to get it since color correcting seems to be the big thing right now. And all I'm doing is smudging that all over the places that I have a lot of redness, which is basically all over my face. So I let that set and dry for a little bit before I go in with my foundation. I'm just going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, the liquid foundation, and I'm going to use a shade darker than my skin tone. For pictures and events like that, I like to go one tone darker because I notice when I take pictures, it kind of washes me out when I have the exact match. And plus, for the most part, you're going to be in the dark for these events, right, besides dinner and all that. So it doesn't really matter, but in pictures it does wonders when it's a little bit darker than your skin tone. And yeah, I'm just going to be placing that all over the face. The NYX um, color corrector did a pretty good job. I'm still wearing it, and it doesn't seem to seep through, so it covers my redness, which I'm very excited about. So now I can use all types of foundations with this underneath. But after this, I'm just going to be contouring with my NYX Wonder Stick. I already put a... Well, I already have a video about contouring that goes in depth, and I'm going to link it down below because I really just skipped through the contour section of this video. Now I'm going to be setting the foundation and the concealer and the cream contour with the RCMA No Transfer Color no transfer, translucent, no color powder. I have not found a powder that's good enough, so if you guys have any favorites of yours, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try them out. I have the Laura Mercier and I like it, but I can't set that all over my face because it has a tint to it. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below. So all I'm doing is setting my face, like I said, once again. And then after this, I am basically using the same technique I do in my contour video about the powders that I use to contour. So like I said, go ahead and check that video out. And all I'm doing is contouring my face. And I'm going to do a heavier contour so it shows up in pictures more than I would on a day-to-day -day basis contouring my face. Now I'm going to be using the True Match 5.5 Just Foundation Powder and using that to bronze up my face. Then I'm going to be taking this Max Mar Max. MAC Margin, Jesus I can't speak today, Margin Blush and I'm going to be packing it on heavier as well because of pictures when you're going to be taking on girls nights out and blah blah blah. But now I'm going to be taking the Gilded Honey Highlighter and the Candlestick 2 Glow Highlighter and spraying some Mix Plus, Mix Plus, Fix Plus and just to intensify that highlight and I'm putting it on the top of my cheekbones and I really like this combo together because Sometimes the gold is a little too gold for my face complexion, so I like to mix that lighter shade and it makes a nice champagne type of color, so I'm not always using the champagne pop. I'm using both of those colors as well just to highlight the inner tear duct. Now I'm just going to be taking the two shades that we used on our crease, which was the Power Play and Wanderer, and just blending down on the lower lash line as well taking fashionista and darkening up the lower lash line before I go in with the gel liner on my waterline. I'm a perfectionist but 
this voiceover, I mean, I can make do with it because this is my second time doing it, so mistakes are on there and I apologize for that. But now I'm going to be taking the Beauty For Real liner, lip liner, and I'm just going to line my lips and use the Jennifer's Nude from L'Oreal on my lips. It's one of my favorite nudes. And then I'm going to be taking Oyster Girl from the MAC Lip Glass and putting it in the center just to make my lips look a little bit fuller. And the... L'Oreal Nude, it's still available at Ulta, so go get it. It's one of my favorites. And that's about fixing my hair. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you guys like it. If you decide to recreate it, go ahead and tag me on, on Instagram. I will list my social media things down below, or maybe right here. I'm not sure. I really have nothing else to say other than go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you see. Comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Is there anything? Really no updates on my life. So, I mean... Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I brought you this uh, glittery, smoky eye and a wing that could cut a bitch. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs>